Don't raise your voice at me. Let me finish, Mr. Onopasa. Let me finish. I'm your guest. So since President Tinubu got in, respect me. Since President Tinubu got in, the economy. Out of your studio, if you raise your voice at me, Mr. Onopasa, me respectfully. You may will take your decision if you want to. I'm asking a question. You might decide to walk out. Okay, what you just saw was a little dispute between Rufa Hosseini and Mr. Jesu Tega Onopasa, who is a lawyer and a member of the APC Presidential Campaign Council, which was dissolved long ago. Now, what's the reason for this is just for us to do some little body language analysis, you know, some micro expressions, non-verbal communications we can see, those that are obvious, and then the subtle one that might not be really obvious as such. So stick with me and let's Voice go. at me, young man. <laughs> So one thing is that my analysis won't be about any political inclination or the moral, who is right, who is wrong. I will just be strictly on the body language analysis of those emotions we can see in this clip. And then I'll be focusing my analysis on Mr. Jesu Tega and Okwasa. For Rufa, I'll say maybe another day and we'll get to analyze how journalists get to interrogate and then see some things about interrogation psychology. So there's really no point starting the clip from the beginning. Let me just summarize what they've been saying. So there are three presenters there, Rufa Hosseini, uh, Mrs. Ayo and then Dr. Abati. Mr. Nopasa has been questioned about what is the way forward after the court sensation which affirms President Bola Ahmed Tinubu as the president to lead Nigeria for four years. And so he responded by saying that President Tinubu has been affirmed as the president of Nigeria. So whether you're a fan of him or not, you're obligated to support him irrespective. And then later, the issue of full subsidy was raised that it has alleviated poverty among Nigerians. And then what is the way forward in copying this? Mr. Nopasa established that full subsidy was not removed by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, that it was a fake news all along, that originally it is unlawful to remove self-subsidy and then um, the past governments were okay with breaking the law and that's why they must full subsidy. So this is the first time we're first saying we have to interrupt the conversation and then let's get to see what's happening here. On inauguration day and that was effectively pulling out subsidy. So you say he didn't remove subsidy, quoting the PILO that had been there for a while is misrepresentation of the facts. That's number one. Number two, since President Tinubu the, the, got, got the, in, the, let me finish, Mr. Nopasa. Let me finish. Let me finish, please. Secondly, hey, don't, don't, since he this, got, this, since this, he got raise, in, don't raise your voice at me, young man. <laughs> don't raise your voice at let me. Let me finish, Mr. Nopasa. Let if me you finish. Want, I'm your guest. So, you will since President Tinubu you got will in, respect me. Since President Tinubu no, got in, I, I will the economy. Out of your studio, if you raise your voice at me. Mr. Nopasa, you may will take Nopasa. your decision if you want to. I'm asking a question. You might decide to walk out if you want to. Uh, Mr. Nopasa, since President Tinubu came in, the economy has tanked. It's at an all-time low as we speak. It has not. I, it has not. Let tanked. me finish my question. Mr. Nokbasa, let you me finish my question. You are a liar. Mr. Nokbasa. At this point, you could see obviously that Mr. Nokbasa is getting stressed and is feeling disrespected by Rufa Hosseini. As a, this man is a man of worth, you could see even from his bracelets that this man cherishes himself and then you have people all around him who appreciate him so well. So let's go into the body language and the micro expressions now. Take a close look at his blinking rate. He's blinking more often now. This happens when we get stressed or you feel disrespected, just like in this scenario, or you are getting hungry already. Normally, the average blinking rate of humans is between 14 to 21 blinks per minute so it's blinking more often because whenever we get stressed the fluid in the eyes get dried out and then you get to blink so that to lubricate the eyes so normally some people could ask that why is the man so sharply impulsive as such now as you can see obviously rufai didn't raise his voice at him he was just like let me finish let me finish but some things could actually affect one of it is that this man has been watching tv for a long time and then he's been seeing rufai would say he questioning politicians and government agencies he'd be like this boy seems like a naughty boy. Some people could even call Rufai as the nightmare for some politicians. So he has this in mind already. So immediately Rufai was like, let me finish, let me finish. That memory could spike in his brain that this boy could be naughty. He might want to ridicule me in front of the television. Right? Moderate yourself. Do you know yourself? what you are doing? Good. Listen, listen to me. Your Secondly. Do you know what you are doing? Since you President Tinubu came in, the economy has tanked. You are pretending to be, and, uh, to be a journalist. The indicators what is are the there. with you? Since he Don't came in, the indicators me, are there. Number one, guest. the you cost of the dollar. Me. You could see again the, 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 the twinkling of the high, the twinkling of the cheek. No, that goes like that. Majority of people will react to stress different ways. Some people, they get to fold their lips like... Why some people knows? 
We do all of those things subconsciously. That is when we are stressed. Some hormones are running through our system that we know. We are getting angry, we're getting furious, we want to crush something. Are you kidding me? You know that kind of thing. Those are the subconscious way we react to stress. The you cost of the dollar me. to the what naira. What does it matter with you? The cost of the dollar to the naira has tanked tremendously as a result of the flotation of the currency. All right. That At this point in time, this man is feeling so disrespected and he's feeling so crushed by Rufai Hosseini. And of course, Rufai Hosseini will still be Rufai Hosseini. He will keep questioning, you know, till you get um, discouraged or frustrated about the whole situation. One very important thing we should take note of in body language is the use of the hands. You know, you see him getting to hit the table all of the time. Those are psychological displacements, you know, using all these inanimate objects. He does all of those things subconsciously. It's a way of, you know, releasing your anger, reminiscing, you know what I'm saying? One. Is that secondly, fault? Secondly, Don't you know why Naira Tang? I'm still asking my question. Secondly, Naira it's Tang been an because all... Because of your friends. Because it's been an all-time malaise in the economy as we speak. Uh, cost of living I, gone up I, I tremendously. All right? And things... And so we see that same body language again by of eating the guests and then it seems as though he wants to stand up. Now remember the other time Rufa was saying he told him that if you want to go out, you are free to go out. Now, that action was a reflection of what is actually inside his mind. He wants to leave. He's feeling ridiculed already. He's feeling disrespected by Rufai, and so he wants to leave, but definitely you know he can't do that. That will definitely disrupt his own integrity on a TV show, live show like that. Really, really south for the economy. So, in all of this, it's been a sloppy, downward spiral. What would you have to say about all of this, Mr. Lapasa? Thank you very much for that question, Rufai Hosseini. Does anybody have a more reasonable question for me to answer? Because I am not dignifying that insulting question from Rufai with a response. I am not. Mr. Lopez, I will see that you're billing on my question and it's... So definitely we could see the same body language he has been showing, the same way he reacts to stress. The muscles in the eyes twinkling and then the blinking rate goes on and then his hands like this, his lips clinch, the clinch jaw and then the folded lips facing another side. That it's not me and you that will be dragging things here. I don't have anything to release for you. I'm not right. evading your question. If you want to be a journalist, you can be a journalist. And you should learn the ropes for those ahead of you. Mr. Nogwaza, answer my question. My mate. You can never. Mr. Nogwaza, okay. answer, answer okay. the question. Yeah, dignify yourself. Mr. Yes, Jay Good says that dignify yourself and answer the question. My God. Please. Dignify yourself. Please, and can, answer we the have, question. can we have peace? Dignify can we, yourself and answer the question. Can we have peace in this studio? My God. Can we have what's, peace? What's wrong? Wrong with this badly brought up little boy. That is what some psychologists called subliminal casting proxy. You know, it's a very subconscious way of we want to say out something but you withhold breath you withhold information that same thing happened when someone wants to lie you know you say what you want to say before you breathe out no no that's not me in this way is a kind of way that he wants to with all the insults he have in his mind imagine it is one-on-one -on -one like that it will have blasted him with a lot of insults but now he is on tv and then he wants to try and withhold that insult that is coming in his mind and then putting it out there. That's why he was like, badly brought up little boy. What's wrong, wrong with this badly brought up little boy? There has been a disruption between the way he's breathing and then the way he's putting out his words. You, you wanna withhold the information, but at the same time, you wanna release it out because he's feeling angry and then feeling insulted with the way he was Christianing him. Stop, little boy. Mr. <laughs> Nakbasa, Mr. Nakbasa, disrespect me. Mr. Nakbasa, please, please calm down. Mr. Nakbasa, I didn't disrespect you for the last. I just asked a question. Please, Mr. Uh, Nakbasa. You Dr. Basi, let him answer the question. Uh, okay, do we and end this program better, now? Better than what to of do you that? will not allow me to talk? Do, should we end the program? Dr. No, Dr. there's a breakdown of law and order. Please, Dr. Basi, go no, ahead. No, maybe we'll just ahead, end Dr. it. Well, no, we can end it. No. Go ahead, Dr. Let's Dr. go ahead, please. I'm appealing. Ah, okay, we'll take a short break. All right, they are taking a short break, and I think I should also take a short break with my analysis right now. So you can go on to watch the video. Let me know in the comment section particularly, what do you think about this? Was Rufai too forward? Was he acting as a journalist the way he ought to act? Was that man really so impulsive? Or that should be the normal way we should react when we are feeling insulted or disrespected by someone questioning us. Let me know in the comment section what you think about that. And then you can go back, watch the original video and see my analysis. 
and i will see you next time please help me with something share this video to quite a lot of people punch the like button and then comment don't just be scrolling you save comments one time like this more know what you think for mine let me know if there's any other video you would like to watch. just tag me tag my name or you share it directly share the link directly with me and then i will see you later you mean flash right?